Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass and iOS 9 is now out and I've upgraded my iPhone 6 to iOS 9 and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the features. Now this isn't going to be going from best to worst, it's just some of the features that I found in iOS 9. So first up we have the battery saver mode or low power mode. Now what this enables you to do is turn on low power mode when you've got not that much battery remaining and it's then going to extend the battery life of your iPhone by a couple of hours. Now what this will do is actually stop things like automatic downloads, some of the visual effects and also background app refresh and it prompts you to turn this on at 20 and 10%. However there's no way to do that automatically but that may come in a future update. Next up is something specific to the iPhone and it's in the settings under music and what this is going to allow you to do is actually stream Apple Music over your mobile network with high quality. Now what this means is it's going to be at the highest quality. Now that will use more of your mobile data than what you're more necessarily used to but it will give you a better sound. Now if you're using something like a Bluetooth speaker I would recommend having this off however if you do have a really good pair of headphones then if you have this on you will definitely tell a difference between the audio quality. The bass is a lot better and also if you're listening to something like acoustic music again it just sounds incredible with the high quality turned on and again that's under music in the settings. Next up isn't necessarily a useful tip but it can come in quite handy if you do want to zoom in on specific things within a video. All you need to do is pinch to zoom and when you've got a video you can zoom in and look at things in really good detail. Now with the new iPhone 6s camera with 4k video recording this is definitely going to be really nice to zoom in on those really fine details although it does look good on the 6 with the 1080p video. The original iPhone came out in 2007 and we're now in 2015 and finally you can tell when you're writing in uppercase and lowercase in the keyboard. Nothing else on this section, that's pretty much it. It should have been there in the start but for whatever reason it wasn't. I'm not really going to dwell on it too long, however I probably have already, but anyway this is a great feature to have, although it can be turned off in the settings but I've no idea why you'd want to do that. Multitasking is now way more horrible than what we had beforehand. As you can see, you can see a lot less of your applications. They're really easy to get rid of. Again, you can just swipe them away really easily. You can still use two fingers to actually swipe away more than one application. Although because you can't really see as much of an application, it can be quite complicated. Now if like me, you get rid of apps really quick, you're gonna run into a problem and your home screen comes across for no reason whatsoever. And then you're gonna have to just kind of find out where your last application is to get rid of it. Now it's nice that they've maybe changed it it visually but I can't really see any benefit to this it's just a change in iOS 9 that I thought I would mention. I'm a huge fan of Google now and I've never used Siri however there's now Siri suggestions to the left of the home screen. Now what you're going to get in here is some frequently used contacts and also some news stories. Now unfortunately the brand new news application isn't available here yet in the UK so if you click on a news story it will open it in Safari but you've got a really handy tab to get back to where you were beforehand which is really easy to use. You've also got some app suggestions at the top so again your frequently used applications that you've been using that day will appear here. You can easily get access to them really easily. Easily. and again if you want to get rid of it go into that horrible multitasking. Now in terms of Siri suggestions it is quite good but it's not necessarily the most useful. You've got universal search in here as well and you can access more applications and also more news stories but it's not necessarily the most useful thing. I would have maybe liked a widgets panel over here. Now I know you can get that in notifications but it'd be good to have it just a swipe away from the main home screen as opposed to something that personally I haven't really used all that much since iOS 9 came out. And that's pretty much going to do it guys. Now iOS 9 isn't actually a massive update compared to what we've had previously. It's more of an incremental update that brings with it some new features. Some are useful, some maybe not as much. The main one that I'm going to be using is low power mode because the battery in the iPhone 6 as everybody knows is terrible and I have to charge it multiple times a day. So to use low power mode for me actually is going to come in quite handy. If you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. If you guys have got any questions about iOS 9 or if there's any features that I missed be sure to leave it in the comment section down below or you can contact me on Twitter at Copper vs Glass. For more great content, don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.